G'day, mate, and welcome back to Dice's View with me, Jitty, and of course, uh, the wonderful Voltron, who wishes to get back to um, well, defending the universe. He wants to go out and finish the last of the combat. We're on, uh, helps if I can find the right button, that button. We're on, uh, what, the Knickers, 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 Knickers 3 system? Well, Neckers, Neckers. I haven't renamed it yet. Neckers, three system, two system, one of the systems. And uh, we finally got all the smelters in and done, which means the... It helps if I turn on the GUI. Uh, all of the Neckers systems are now outposted, which means the only things we need to do in here is, well, say hi, hello to Yida Hive. Also say hello to Snakey Hive, which are fully formed hives, which are probably going to be a bit of a challenge. And at the same time, the other thing I should probably do is I should probably actually start capturing some of the power this sphere is making. Uh, it is the lovely... Can I turn off the back structure? It is the lovely subscribe sphere. Uh, so I'm going to remind you that you should subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because today, the last thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading back to uh, the Epsilon system. And we're going to be turning on the, the full science build. The full science build doing, well, 120 science per minute. Per minute? Per minute. Per minute. Uh, which should really chew through, well, uh, the the research. The research, yep. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a 104,000 point research currently. Um, we... 150? There's another autosave. Hang on, please be patient. There we go. Uh, yeah, everything's at like the 100 and something range. Oh, look, 100k. Do we still have anything in the 90s? Uh, ray, ray efficiency, I don't care about. Uh, no. Really not. No, everything's over 100,000 now. Uh, so yes, we're going to be heading and, uh, well, we're going to be heading out, we're going to be killing some hives. We're also going to be turning on science, which means I need to ask that very important question, that very important question before we get into today's episode, and that is, well, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like before we head off to combat. I believe I've been told for every single like that I get, and I get to keep, it means that we have a better chance of living through the death and destruction that is going to be part of today's episode. But if you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, I've been told that, um, well, I have to get down on, nope, 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 get down on one knee and give you your like back. All right, so let's start off with, I don't know, oh, Snakey Hive. We're going to go say hi to Snakey Hive. Uh, we're going to try not to warp right into the hive this time. Um, that would be the plan. Uh, but we do need to be a little bit closer. Like, one... One a bit AU is sort of... That's too close. There you go. One a bit AU. Cool. Uh, Alright, what I want to do is... I want to have the fleet out and about. Uh, can I just very quickly disable you guys? Because that way you disappear and then I can re-enable you. I want you selected. And... We want to... Okay, first off, let's check some orbital dynamics. So, retrograde is to the right of it. So, can I send the fleet uh, out 1.5 AU? Perfect. Yep, can we just send the fleet 1.5 AU in front of us? In front of us. And then, when they sort of reached that area, which should be, like, right about here somewhere... Um, we can just point our nose into the hive for half a second. So we make contact and then point our nose away. And that should drag all the lancers out. Uh, nope. Don't even have to do that. All the lancers are pissed off already. Okay. So then we're going to aim slightly to the right away from the hive. And watch the lancers approach. And what we want to do is probably call our fleet back a little bit. Uh, can I get a 1 AU? There you go, 0.9. Yep, which should initiate combat. It has. And if we bring up this, there is 350. Oh, there can't be just 350. I, I, I guess we have cut off their matter for a very long time. Yeah, there might just be 350 f ships. Um, there's like 80-ish in humpbacks, which will never go out and attack. Or maybe it's 120 in humpbacks. 
I don't know. Uh, but with that now done, uh, we're just going to go and get close to the hive then. Yeah, uh, we went and captured all the planets. So because we captured all the planets, they didn't have an opportunity to keep replacing the matter that they were spending attacking the planets. Uh, so they've been assembling ships like... Uh, Yeet Hive. Yeet Hive is currently sending out an attack wave towards probably Nickers 1. Oh, I should really pay attention. I should really, really pay attention. Yeah, can we slow down a lot? Uh, can we target those things? Yep, as long as I'm in range and the reticule changes when you're in range, it changes to the yellow. Uh, that means what you target actually disappears and I'm definitely taking shots to the face and I prefer not to uh, I'd really prefer not to because the shields are down yeah that's enough range okay can I slow down a bit more so the reticule changes to yellow when you can actually target something so if it's very far away, I don't really have anything very far away anymore. I'm too close. But as long as it's yellow, yep. And I click on that, uh, all the fleets will move, or all my fleet will move, to attack that one item. Uh, realistically, you should be aiming to try and keep your attack center mass. So right, like right where you are. So nothing needs to get out of its current position to shoot. Uh, hopefully that's the plan. I can't reach that one. Uh, can we do that one then? No, there we go. Uh, can I do that one? I can see your lit up. Yep, and I can see your lit up, and I can see your lit up. And like I said, if you're in range, everybody, or if everybody's in range, they'll just instant target, and whatever it is just vaporizes. Uh, you can go away, and you can go away before you charge, and you can go away, and up oh, there's one over there. You can go away. And you can go away and you... Nope, there we go. That's in range just. Uh, you can go away. As can you. As can you. As can you. I really hope when they release the, the next update, the next update with... They've said there's going to be spaceships. So for like space engines, vehicles that you can ride. Well, they didn't actually explicitly said vehicles that you can ride, but vehicles of some sort. Um, also possibly space stations from memory. I don't know. There's, there's, they've already released a, uh, well, a post, a post on Steam about what's coming with the next combat update. But I, I'm really hoping that we get a couple of things. I'm really hoping I can match the speed of an orbital object so I could fly up to a hive and just say, you know, maintain this speed from that hive. Um, and I sort of hope space combat becomes a little bit more dynamic and interesting. Um, very, very early on in this update, they nerfed space combat. Uh, originally, a hive could have four and a half thousand units, and they took it down to one and a half thousand units, so basically reduced it by a factor of three, which is one of the reasons why um, I cranked up the difficulty on the death world. Yeah. Uh, so now we have level 50 hives. Also, that's something else I hope they changed. I hope they increased the levels overall. Uh, can I just ram into something or not? Okay, close. But I sort of need to fly the same direction as the hive as when I'm running into something. Uh, can I... Fly that way and accelerate. Oh, never mind, that disappeared. All right, uh, enhanced structure number 18, which means uh, I want to look at that. Uh, you guys now have, uh, what's that, 17,000 hit points? And you guys have uh, five, 6,000 hit points. Yeah, yeah. Um, we need to get more damage for them, obviously, but more hit points definitely helps. Um, yeah, this hive is um, just about vaporized. Cool. And then we need to go say hi to Yida Hive, which is the last hive in the system. Um, who just sent an attack and is just getting weaker and weaker as it sends an attack. And I completely forgot that we're sending out attacks. Uh, what is... 
Oh, that is an attack wave going down to say hi to Nickers one, which has three ships, two ships, zero ships. Yep. It's just getting vaporized before it even gets close. All right. Uh, so we need to go to, I didn't mark it. Uh, can I go to you? And where are you? You're in that direction. 5 AU away. Okay. Uh, can I put the fleet away? And we'll technically enable them. And we'll just go over here and say hello. And hopefully not. Never mind. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Okay. Okay. Uh, which way is retrograde? Retrograde would be up and to the left. So about there somewhere. Which sort of means I need to fly right past the front of the hive. Which means I think we're just going to go straight in. Yeah. You have how many units? 350. Yeah, I think we're just going to go straight in. I'm really not worried anymore. Like, the, the, as I said, these are level 50 hives. Okay. These are over twice the strength as what's normal maximum in the game, but no, rotate the right direction. Uh, because of our infinite research, they're a bit of a joke. Hello? 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 Lancers? Hello? Uh, you have 10,000 hit points. Uh, 26 hit, uh, hit points worth of armor. You also do have, well, I think this is for space combat. This is for planetary bombardment. And this is for when they um, get even closer and they um, carpet bomb, carpet bomb the planet. Yep. Yep. And humpbacks are buried in there. Can I keep my humpback? Humpback have even more hit points and do a crap ton worth of damage. Uh, can I... No, nobody's close enough yet. Uh, somebody's close enough. Okay. Yep, yeah, somebody's close enough. Come on, I need you one shot, one kill. One shot, one kill. There we go. There we go. We're starting to get close enough. There's already 140 of you left. You're all half dead. Half your fleet's disappeared already. The humpbacks are a bit closer. My fleet is going and playing with humpbacks at the same time. I really wish you wouldn't. Okay. Mm. Sure. Let's just go this general direction. Can I rotate? And... No, we need to go a little bit faster to catch up. And same story. We're just going to blitz our way through this one as well. All right. Can I up and slow down and target that one? Everybody get him. And then everybody get him. And then him. And then him. Come on. Come on. Into the fray, guys. That's dead, that's dead, that's dead, that's dead, uh, that's dead, that's dead, that's dead, that's dead, and now we start working on the hive already. Okay, can we get rid of that shiny thing there? No? Oh. Select the fleet. There we go. Now we get the ready kill. Alright, uh, guys, oh, I don't really want to pin things. Uh, that's another thing, like, the, the, the gooey's hanging over the gooey's. Uh, can I target that? Can I target that? Can I target that, please? Yeah, no, that, that, there we go. Uh, that one. Oh, there's a bunch in the middle. That goes away. That goes away. Nope. Okay, can I get that one? Uh, you're shiny. You can go away. You're shiny. Shiny? Shiny? I can go away. Uh, is there anything left? Yeah, there's one down here. You can go away. There's one all the way back there. That's the thing. Wherever they exist on the top, they also exist in the same spot at the bottom. So if you can get in the perfect plane, 
we can see both in top and bottom you can sort of go okay well there's one on the bottom there therefore there's one on the top right there there's one right here and therefore up oh, and there's one right there therefore there's one underneath in the same locations uh, that one that one that's the non-shiny one and yeah it helps so much when you can match the speed of the hive that you're attacking that way you're not constantly getting closer or further away but there's no match speed currently in the game which is frustrating hence why i tend to ram into hives um because that way i'm guaranteed to match the speed of it or at least what's left of it uh, can we get rid of that shiny thing there we go yep um i don't see oh no there's one over there i can back away yeah and that looks like all of it all right in that case can i just go forward a lot and we'll just park ourselves right in the middle um because worst comes worse like i've got what's that uh 110,000 hit points i could take a shot or two to the face and the shields just absorb it so if i get into the mix with only one or two lasers possibly left that i haven't killed off uh then uh i take the damage and therefore we don't lose any ships but then again the ships have an awful lot of hit points the thing they don't have is they don't heal can i ram into thank you that'll do me okay and can i turn that off again all right cool uh so that's gonna be the end of this hive in about five seconds which means we're gonna have to go to number one we're gonna have to set up a ray receiver or 10 uh and then i don't think we have any reason to stay in this system um yeah we don't really have a need to stay in the necker system we're gonna have to head uh back to epsilon and crank on the science because it's gotta it's gotta have buffered by now and realistically i want to see how fast we can get this the the yeah i really really want to see how fast we can get science to move um also i want to know t uh ow vocalize that to others uh no no this one all loss there is an achievement for getting your all loss per mining operation under 15 percent also it means currently our loot bonus is 216 percent so there is a chance if we get this high enough that the one farm back on last hope is enough to provide us all the yellow bits that we need for well all our needs to run all the power in the in 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 the galaxy yep in the galaxy we're at the stage of in the galaxy all right can we head to naked one please i readjust and three walks and then actually land on the planet Okay, so I set this up with smelters, which was maybe a mistake, as I really want ray receivers on this planet, because uh, it's inside the sphere. Um, you guys are still launching as fast as possible. We have the original rocket construction here as well, because this was just like a temporary planet. Uh, what do I want? I want to have... Well, they can be set to supply in case somebody else wants them. Uh, I'm going to grab one of these... I'm going to put you... I don't know where. Um, where's going to be a good spot for prey receivers? Hum. Hum. Okay, we're going to put you here. And we're going to set up... Prey uh, receivers. Ray, Ray. Right. Uh, let's just pick some amount to start with. 700 is maybe a bit much. Uh, let's go with 200. Uh, I'm definitely going to need more foundation at the same time. Uh, this is all subject to moving. I might end up moving this whole build in a little bit. Uh, but why? Uh, we have 66.7 gigawatts. Okay. So a ray receiver can consume 120 megawatts so it means technically i need to consume this much power i need 550 uh ray receivers 
So let me um, just change that request slightly when I work out where the hell I put it right there. Uh, we might want a few more. Yeah. 600 plus the 300, that gives you 900. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me, give me a sec to work out exactly where we're going to put these down and then throw out down array receiver or five. I think, uh, if we turn on the power overlay, because the planet's always divided into quarters. I think, like, I, I want to have a dead straight line to, to start off on. So I'm thinking here. And then... Uh, you're going to get in the way. You're also going to get in the way. Well, you're going to get in the way, rather. Um, I don't know. Give me two seconds to work out where the ray receivers are going to go. Because putting down ray receivers is not exactly what I would call uh, fundamentally important. Oh. I'm going to also mark that. Because your hive is gone. Like, no longer in orbit, gone. So I don't know what happens to you. So we got a couple of ray receivers. I've also taken a chance to, um, well, paint the sphere because it wasn't painted. It's now painted. Uh, and we're sucking down about, uh, well, well, most of the power. Most of the power, which is fine for now, except um, it's still building. So I think we should have a few more ray receivers. Uh, like I said, these guys max out... Uh, there we go, 120 megawatts. 120 megawatts each. It's a little bit over. They're, they're requesting 121 because they're only 98.8% efficient. I know, I know. That, that efficiency loss is getting to me as well. But the research is just not worth it. Uh, we are currently working through, well, vein research because that gets us up to 128k. It also hopefully gets me down under that 15% that I'm looking for. And I'm, I should explain how I put these together because putting down... Piles and piles and piles and piles and piles and piles and yeah, ray receivers sucks. Honestly sucks. So I do it with blueprints. Um, we're going to this is the primary direction. Yeah, this is the primary direction. Then this is a secondary because there was some spells in the way. So let's do the primary direction. Uh, we're going to remove you and you. All right. So first thing I do is we grab this and drag it out too. Okay. After I've got that, I plug in a bit of a belt. And I've, I've shown this before, but I'm going to show it again. And then we do another one there. Another, whoop, uh, another one there. Just so we've got some, something to work with. Okay. And then we're going to plug this into the middle line. This into the middle line. We need to feed you out to the main line. That's all really irrelevant. The other thing, irrelevant. And I put this in one quarter of the way around the planet normally is I just have a pile sorted there to go backward. That way they end up stacked. Otherwise I max out the belts. Okay. Once we get to here, I need to have... Can you stop patting the ground? Uh, I need a tail. Just all I need. Just a tail. All right. Once I have that, I copy from the tail all the way back to one tail short of the next ray receivers. And then if I hit paste and it's actually rotated the right direction, and then I put that over the tail and drag them out and we hit the plus button, we can see that there's a gap between them. But if I hit the minus button just once after I get the original blueprint, I can drag this out so far and just put down a whole stack of them. Now, once I have a stack of them, I could just paste another stack or because I know I'm basically going to be wrapping the planet with these guys, uh, I'm going to copy from the very end, which includes a tail, don't really need, need, the, need the foundations uh to one start uh, one tile short of that one as well and then i'm gonna put you here and then i'm gonna drag uh well okay let's clean up some things first all right can i remove uh you guys can i also remove you and you and we'll put a bit of foundation here just in case. And you've already been foundationed over. But I need some foundation here and here. And can I remove you and you? And uh, let's just fill in that gap a little bit. Can I make sure resource is going to get hidden? Do that one, that one. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, back this way around the planet. Uh, okay, you need to disappear. 
These smelters may or may not get in the way. I don't honestly know. And that should be everything we need. Okay. So. Paste. Cool. Uh, I want to go from... I'm going to land on that tail. I'm going to drag to the right. And I don't even need to see. Because I know no matter what, I'm going to hit the minus button just once. So if I hit the minus button once, everything moves back a tile. And then we're going to say two there. Now I'm going to get an error about collisions. Because, you know... Obviously, all these smelters are too close. We're, we're trying to go through. And this is why I buried the resources first. So we can put in the belts anyway. Uh, through the miners, etc, etc, etc. We're going to have an issue with you. But the main belt does get through. And that should bring us to right here. And you obviously have an issue. Because I didn't quite landfill it enough. But I'm going to go shift enter. And then whilst I'm looking at it. I'm just going to fill that part in. And then can I get, I don't know, that many? Paste. Uh, I put you there. And uh, put another set. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we're just gonna go for a wander around the map. Now I do have markers around the map with the power poles. Well, the wind turbine power poles. The wind turbine power poles. So I know roughly when quarter of the map is. So when I get to another quarter point of the map, and you'll actually see it on the existing lines as well. It helps if I'm probably a little bit more upright with the camera. Um. I feel like I should have hit a quarter line. Up, ah, that's it. Quarter line. No, that's not it. No, quarter line's all the way over there. Okay. Keep walking. Mm. There. So once I get to a quarter line, I grab out my sorters. And again, I just go one tile backward. And we should find. Uh, it's so hard to see. Uh, there's one here. There should be one around here somewhere. No. There should be. Well, I don't find it. Uh, so we're just going to put one in. Uh, can I get you to go back with a tile? I get you to go back with a tile. You cannot have too many of these. Like, the, 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 there is no such thing as, like, overdoing it. Uh, because all they're doing is they're stacking things one on top of one another. So if it's already stacked full high, things just pass straight through. If it's not stacked full high, well, then it stacks them. And that's our plan. That's all our plan is, just to make sure things are stacked up so we can get as much throughput on the belt as possible. And again, when I get another a quarter of the way around the planet, there should be more of those. Um, actually, there probably wasn't on that one because there's a giant smelter block in the way. Uh, but next quarter's got to be coming up. Maybe I passed it. I think I passed it. Okay. Uh, you were the missing one. I'm going to put you in there. And hook you in there. And oh yeah, I must have well and truly passed it. Okay. Quarter line. Can I turn back on the power overlay? Uh, so there's a quarter line here. Which... So hard to see. Okay. So I missed the first quarter line. Okay. Can I get you to go... Mm, preferably not like that. Uh, can I not remove belts? No. Okay, fly here. Come on. Okay, remove that. And then... We want to go backward. And then next quarter line is here, which I did put one in next quarter line is here where I didn't put one in and fly here and then that wraps us through to uh, the end of the planet uh, no there's technically a quarter line here which I did do and a quarter line there okay yep so they're all done now all right which means when I find out where the hell I am located uh no, 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 no. There's 3,000 of these things here. Like, I'm not short. I'm not short by a long shot. Uh, how many... Got 120 left. And I had 300 and something to start with. And we're now sucking out 84 out of 68. So I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think we need any more ray receivers just yet. I, I technically need more sales. Um... But I don't think I can be bothered. Uh, so what we're gonna do, and what I really wanna do, is I wanna crank on a science. So we need to head 
to the Epsilon system. Um, yeah, you're coming to NECA. You're going to Pride. You're coming to NECA as well. Okay. Uh, Epsilon. Uh, Epsilon has a number of friends. And Snakey, Snakey Hive is fine. Okay. Snakey Hive was our control. It's a completely deformed dead hive for some reason. Uh, Snake Snake Hive. Yep, yep. Is a brand new one, as is Beta Hive, as is Yeta Hive. So this is a brand new seed has arrived in the system, and this is as good as it's got. This is as large as it's got. It hasn't got any bigger. Uh, so we now know that that is the max size they're going to get, and we want to go to number three, please. Cool. And we'll check the stats when we get there. Because I'm curious how much power they're absorbing. Um, if it's a fixed amount, because they're not going to get any bigger, because they don't have any matter, because they've spent what matter they had, well, building what small amount of structure they have, and also building relays, they can't expand. Now, if I take out their relays, and then they build more relays, it's going to spend what little matter they have left. Also, if I go and beat up what's available, what, what exists of their current base, if they don't have any matter, they can't rebuild it. Uh, yeah, I missed entirely. You can definitely tell where science is happening. Okay. Uh, can I land? Alright. Quick double check. So, uh, spinner north. You're at 20,000. Uh, graviton lenses. Graviton lenses. Graviton lenses. Actually, look for the straight line. So, we have a straight line. So, graviton lenses is here at 10k. Uh, green science is here at 10k and green science is here at 10k which means the engine build which I shoved here no I found a gap for it there we go engine build maybe engine build honestly don't know but I do know the engine build is fully uh, fully buffered, so we should be good to go. All right, so I need to come here, and we need to do two things. I need to double up the amount of labs that are producing white science. I also need to double up the amount of labs consuming white science. So we currently have uh, 240. 240 of the replicator labs making yellow, uh, making white science and actually the outside labs are not running okay can i get 200 i need at least 240 so let's bring in 300 once these arrive i should just have to go around to each one of these and they are currently how tall uh five tall so I just shouldn't need to add just five to each one of them. And that should take our science from, let's do entire cluster, uh, number three. We're doing 413. Actually, let's do just this planet. We're doing 360 on the nose. So that is 60 per minute on the nose. Uh, research is at 67K with just this planet. So this should double out to 135 hashes per second. All 300 are here. Okay, can I? You are set to zero. I'll have all those. And uh, where's our entry point? So this is green, red, and yellow. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And then I should have 40 left over. No, 60 left over. 60 left over. Okay, so that's 240 labs thrown down. Okay, that got a whole lot larger. All right, uh, so in theory, everything should pre-buffer instantly. Everything is on the belt, ready to go. So, 6-1, we're looking for 7-2. We also need to get on top of con consumption. Okay, 
so where is our output? Our output is here. I am, but that 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 that's flat out. Okay, can we get uh, you guys? Can I have you be fully stacked at that point? Uh, and you be fully stacked before you get on the main belt. And you fully stacked. And you fully stacked. And you fully stacked. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So, you're stacking, and if you leave a gap, it's being filled by one high. I don't want things being filled with one high. I want them to be filled with four highs straight away. Because we're trying to push... We're really trying to push the system because we are actually doing, well, we're doing 120. So we are doing like a full belt's worth, a full stacked belt's worth, a full stacked belt's worth of science on this particular belt. So it means that, uh, where are we? I want to go stand here. It means that everything that comes through here, you need to also be stacked. Everything that comes through this one choke point needs to already be fully stacked and needs to be shoulder to shoulder. So they no, I need I need you to walk. I need you to walk. I need to try and control the camera at the same time. The belt at that point should be nothing but white science. Yeah, nothing but white science. Uh, science. Okay, you need one. Uh, nothing but white signs, and it should be fully stacked. Can we... Okay, we need more normal labs. Uh, okay, so our consumption is only 5.8. Alright, so I need more normal labs. Can we copy? Uh, drag from there to there. I have 366, so I need potentially 366, but I don't think we need that much because they weren't overrunning last time. So... How high are they? And then the new question will be, are they all the same height? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so 366 uh, at five tall means that in theory I have 74 stacks. Okay, and I have 326 right here. Uh, so what? So it means potentially I can make them five high, uh, Five, five, six high as well. Yeah, they are the same height, both sides. Okay, confirm. You are six high. Okay, and you're now ten high. So let's go with four. Let's try and bring them up the same height. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, four, four. That one and that one. Okay, so that should be all the science fully upgraded. And now, okay, there's no science on the belt, which is both a good sign and a bad sign. Okay, let's look at the outside. Uh, so science gets through to here, then it gets through to here. I know these labs still have light, so here is where, la where, where science stops. Why there's a random single piece of belt there? I don't know, but it's down the bottom. Okay. So we're getting our science to here and it starts here. So we're making it three quarters of the way around the circle currently. And we are producing three, uh, nine, six out of seven, two. We're consuming seven, eight. So we're consuming more than we're producing, which means one of two things. Uh, either there's an issue with science here getting onto this belt, i.e. not everything's fully stacked. That looks so stacked. But these guys are not outputting at all. Okay, 
Okay, can I... I need to relieve the pressure. So you're outputting, but you're not outputting. Okay, can I just... Okay, can I consume everything in there and everything in there? Oh, I got 168 science packs. Uh, can I... Consume... Okay, there's an awful lot. There are no gaps on that belt. At all. But there's gaps here. Yeah. Alright, so, we're back to the age-old problem of Dyson Sphere is really bad at fully compressing a belt. It doesn't do a terribly good job of shifting things. And actually, it looks like every single time you output is when I get a gap. No. That looks fully compressed. Fully, fully compressed. Uh, we're at 7170. This is not good enough! Okay, what we're we gonna do? Uh, we bring all the science to here, and then we fork it down, we run it through all the labs. But everything's made symmetrically with a pattern, so to speak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to this end where we've produced half the science. And by the way, because we have a full belt full high of green science going in, it should mean that by the time it gets to here, it's basically dead. Same goes for purple. Uh, and here, there should be like half half the density on the belt. All right, can I zoom right away in so we can see what we're doing? Uh, okay, so that's out. What I wanna do is here, I wanna connect you to there with juice. How do I get juice? Okay, we'll do that connection first. And then we'll put a juice shoe. I don't need you any anymore. Okay, can I juice shoe? I can put a juice shoe there and move that over, but I have no idea. Okay, can I move you over a tile? Pull you up, grab a juice shoe. Collide with objects. So you're going to have to put your juice shoe... No, can't go there. It has to go there. Okay. Alright, can I run the belt through there? Then put a juice shoe here. Then put my sorter there. And then plug that in there. Yes, okay. I need to get juice out of here and into that tile, which is going to be awkward as hell. Uh, can we bring you out, across, down, and in? Okay. Voltron, out of the way. Okay, that looks like it works. And then that means that this belt no longer goes underneath, uh, bringing in science. So that just stops right there. And I, I, wow, it's dangerous trying to remove that little belt. All right, so, and um, I had some amount of science stuff in me. Okay, so, we've now split the white science belt in half. This is one half, so this only needs to do, not 120 items per second, but it only needs to do 60 items per second. And the one on the other side of the planet also needs to do 60 items per second, which now means, in theory, 7,200. Oh, we're there. Look at that. That's 10 minutes. I don't know if we'll actually stabilize. I think we're always going to have these little upsy downsy peaks. But I think over one hour, it's going to look like... Obviously, right here, I forgot to turn on research for five seconds. But apart from that, that is a very, very flat line. Sure, we need to run it for a little while. We need to run it for a little while to confirm that we're going to have the numbers required. But I am very, very, very happy with that. And power. Power, 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 power. Uh, 26 gigawatts out of 30. So we technically have spare power. And one thing I'm curious about is imports. Hydrogen import? Hydrogen import. Okay, hydrogen might be the next thing that breaks. 
um because we're still technically hydrogen neutral uh sorry hydrogen negative even with the hydrogen being made from well the much fire ice uh plus the hydrogen that comes from oil plus the hydrogen that comes from every other process like you know making any matter any matter stuff backed up uh, oh, that's 60 machines. That's 120 machines. Uh, okay. Well, one's backed up and one's empty, uh, which is sort of okay. But I'm willing to bet. Yeah. Uh, can I change you to supply and supply? A storage rather and storage yeah so other systems other planets were still in my antimatter uh and you guys are not overscaled at all so technically you'll never catch up um probably means that i should add a single one or two extras on the end just so we have a little bit more production than what we're consuming but juice looks to be fine at 20k uh you're not zero and that's the the other thing now now that every now that now there's two of every build i'm expecting one build to always be choking and the other build to be fine like yellow science up here is only at 5k whereas this one's sitting at steady at 10. in fact we haven't even started consuming this one yet um we won't consume that until this one empties because we also have 20k here and 20k here so it's gonna take a little while oh and you're also bringing in deuterium oh and that's 11k uh hydrogen 2.9 and always add hydrogen to another tower already have uh, added hydrogen to another tower along with copper silicon and magnets um i add hydrogen to another another tower if needs be but now i know there's another 14k up here we should be fine but um yes this means we can chew through science and we can see uh okay so we have green purple and any matter feeding at the top we have red uh red blue and yellow feeding at the bottom we can see from the shininess of our towers and also where science is on the belt that we're feeding about two-thirds on the right hand side of the outside towers and about two-thirds on the left hand side of the outside towers they're the ones actually consuming the science and doing the research and our hash rate is 10 minutes one minute 135 135,000 hashes per second uh yeah at 711 and it's a little bit short but that's 72 flat and our consumption is still higher uh technically i turn that off and one minute okay so it's just what i happen to have in my pocket uh is making the difference uh, okay turn that back on and bring that back up yeah, it's counting up not by a lot but it's definitely counting up yeah i must be using a couple of science packs per minute all right uh but we now have science running which means i need to find a new project i need to find a new project we could add more labs we could add more science we, we could go from 120 per second to i don't know put in another copy of the planet can i fit it can I just duplicate the whole planet can we go to 240 on this planet possibly possibly like we've used slightly less than half that's the halfway line we went over the halfway line just there yeah sure that build does wrap halfway around the planet i need another one so you know it's gonna be a little bit awkward and we have some space here so maybe we can add another one um by the same token we can go deal with the farm the farm that's been broken for a long time um and i think that's gonna be the next task i think considering how quickly we can burn through science now because we're doing 72,000 per minute, which means, well, you're uh, 10 million hashes, which is gonna be one minute worth of research. Um, 10,000 science is one minute worth of research. So it does mean that um, 
well, getting a little bit more damage is not going to take that long at all. Uh, also, enhanced structures, 119,000. Uh, well, this goes up to 128, so this is sort of in our next batch of research. Yep, uh, it means we definitely have options for, well, upping up the ante. More enhanced structures, more damage, all that sort of things, which means in the next episode, I think we're going back to the farm. But I also know that I really, really, really need to leave this episode here. Uh, we are producing a crap ton of science, which means I need to stay on top of this list. I also need to, um, well, make sure Voltro gets a little bit of a rest in uh, between episodes. You know, you gotta keep his vitality very strong when he's gotta go um, defend the whole universe. Oh, and I wanna look at... So you guys you need 2.85 gigawatts. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing they can stay for a little bit. Uh, we also probably need to put more ray receivers on the internal planet. Yeah. Yeah. We have more critical photons available that we could be picking up. Uh, on episode number one. Uh, but yes, I need to call this video here. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed vein utilization number 32, uh, which means we are under that 15%. I have got that achievement. So I'm going to see you in, well, the very next video. All right, bye.